Hey and welcome back to another iOS development tutorial. In this next lot of videos we're actually going to be touching up our application. We're going to be adding app icons, we're going to be adding uh, tab icons and we're going to be adding launch images. Now if you don't know what any of those things are, don't worry I'm going to explain each one of them as we go along. But for today we're just going to start with our app icons. So, if you go to the iOS simulator and you know normally it launches up with an app, if you actually hit the home button you'll see our application here called iBank, well that's what I called it, and you'll notice that it's just a white background. It's got a little bit of gloss effect on it, but it's still a white boring background. It's pretty plain and boring. So. What we're going to do is we're going to make our own app icon for both the retina display and the normal display. It's basically pretty easy to produce both images. So what I have chosen to do with this tutorial is to actually use GIMP. Now GIMP's a free image editing software. It works on all platforms. Not that that's relevant, but it is free. If You can also use Photoshop if you prefer or any other paint or drawing manipulation program but I'm gonna choose to go with GIMP so if you want to download it go just go over to downloads and you'll just need to download the one for Mac OS X right and I'm gonna close that off for now and I'll go ahead and launch it so I'll open up launchpad and I'll open GIMP up now GIMP's kind of a sort of a weird application on Mac OS X it has several diagrams and this bash thing that comes up but you don't have to worry about that. Now in order to make an app icon we need to know the dimensions of our app icon and the easiest way to find that out is to actually select our project uh, tab category here or whatever you want to call it and you can see a summary under the iBank summary here and you can see app icons that we there's no images there currently, and we've got launch images. So let's work on those app icons. And if you hover over it, it'll tell you the specification. So it says 57 by 57 for the normal, and it would be 114 by 114 for the retina. Now you always, 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 always start with the biggest size, and then you resize it back to the smaller size. You don't go from the smaller size to the larger size otherwise you'll get blurry images and app icons and whatever so we're gonna start with a 114 canvas size so I'm gonna go over to GIMP and I'm gonna go file new and in the dimensions I'm gonna hit 1114 and it 1114 for the height right then I'm gonna click OK just to get that and that will be our app icon right that's what we're working on here now I'm gonna set a background for this so I'm gonna get the big bucket there and I'm gonna select color uh, let me see I had a color pre-selected here this color here and this color is 312 right if you wanna replicate that it's a little hot pink, I like it. You can choose whatever color you want, if you want orange or yellow or green, you know, whatever you want. You can choose that. I and again, this is the only this is only the way I'm designing the up icon. You can always design it however you want. Like you could do it so differently to who I am. I'm just doing a quick simple one just to show you the process of doing it. You can choose whatever you want, okay? it's up to you right I'm gonna set this to the hot pink that I just chosen and I'm gonna select the font tool double click and I'm gonna give it a dollar sign there you, you can't really see it so I'm gonna switch these colors around and make sure I have this thing selected and hopefully my changes are apparent and you still can't see it why isn't that working I 
Alright, now you can see I've changed it to white. And as you can see, I'm not very, I'm not the greatest uh, painter ever, digital painter, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not the greatest. Uh, and I'm just going to move this to the center, just about to the center. And I might make it a little bit bigger. Just trying to get it perfect here. Yeah, that's about good. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So we'll get out of this. And I'll select the background. So that will be our end result. Yeah, I still think I can actually make the font size a little bit bigger. So I'm going to do that because I'm fussy. And we'll and I'll select that and make it two pixels bigger because I'm fussy. All right, that should be about it for our app icon. Yeah, that'll do. I don't want to bore you to tears here. So once you've got your app icon, you can go ahead and save it. And you need to save it as a PNG file, so I'm just going to go into my pictures and I'll create a new folder called iBank, right? And what we'll do is I'm going to save this as the 114, which is the retina display one, okay, 114. And I'm going to select the file type to PNG, so remember it must be PNG. That's how. That's what Apple uses for its images. So I'm going to save that, and we'll just merge visible layers. Yep. Export it. Yeah. Default settings will do, and we'll save it. Now we've got the one one fourteen, but we don't have the normal iPhone size. So the easiest way to get the normal iPhone size is to go image, scale image, and we just want to scale it down to fifty seven. And notice that when I click the height it adjusts to that ratio which is 57 so I'm going to scale that and as you can see it scales down perfectly and I'll go ahead and save that as 57 right and select the PNG image and save export save and there you go that's our app icon now let's go and import it into our project or into our application so I'm gonna open up the finder here and I'm gonna go to our pictures the iBank and you can see that we've got our two uh, I'm gonna close GIMP for the moment we've got our two app icon. Now the easiest way to get these into it is just to click and drag into it and I'll add it to the project file here as you can see and click and drag it in there and I'll just move, th I prefer those images just to be in that product folder there so I'm going to move them in there and as you can see we've got them now let's go ahead and run them and you just saw a little glimpse of it you know here's our little snazzy icon it looks pretty good and it says iBank underneath it's got the gloss effect which is cool we don't have to do anything more to get that gloss effect and we open it, that up and it's all good now let's go see the retina one so I'm gonna go over to the IS simulator menu here and if I go device iPhone it will bump it up to my screen resolution that represents the amount of pixels on an iPhone. As you can see, the iPhone has so many pixels that it's taken up my whole screen. But there's our icon here. You can see it nice and big. It's ready for the retina display. It's very simple, but it works. And everything works there. So that's how you make an app icon and add it to your project. 
Again, that was like in five minutes. I made that in five minutes. So that's about it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys later.